let's get started on our back today. Have your strap handy next to you. So we'll be grabbing that in a moment. Let's take Supta Baddha Konasana, the soles of the feet together. Knees out to the side. Rock your back evenly here. Lengthen your spine so you have all this lovely space. And if you need to, put blankets underneath the outer hips to support you. So close your eyes for a few moments and just get connected, get grounded in your body. Become present. Where are you right now? Where are you physically, mentally, emotionally? How are you doing? How are you feeling? Bring your awareness to your breathing, just checking in with the breath, feel your breath flowing. Soften the hips and the groins. Feel that space being created in the lower body. Soften the brows. Start to gaze into the space between and behind your eyes. Brighten up that space. Find a lightness there. And look down into your heart center. Open yourself to an intention for your practice today. And then once you've found your intention, just gently draw the legs together. Let's take the feet wide apart. And drop your knees over to the right. You can blink your eyes open or keep them closed. Whatever feels good for you right now, drop your knees over to the left. And bring it back to center. So grab your strap. Both feet on the mat, right foot up to the sky. And we're going to place the strap on the ball mounds of the foot there. And you may have a lot lower a leg here if you're especially tight. So just find your extension, right? Just straighten out your leg as much as you can. And then start to draw the leg in. So we're gonna press that sitting bone away. This right one here is pushing down as you draw the leg up. And also you may notice when you do that, the leg rotates open, squeeze the inner thigh that way, away from you. So basically your leg is in a neutral position. We're active here. So we're not just letting the leg drop down. We're pulling on the leg, spreading the toes, pushing up into the ball mounds of the feet. So fan your toes out as wide as you can. And thigh is active. If the back of the leg doesn't like this, there's too much of a pull there, then have a little micro bend, especially if you're hypermobile. Have a little bit of a micro, micro bend here. Elbows are down here, not up here. Head is not up here. <laughs> we're breathing. Can you feel the curve in your lower back? If not, maybe even out the back a little bit and drop that hip away from you a little bit more of this top leg. So use your breath, find space on the exhalation. Keep checking that you're active in that upper thigh. Keep drawing that leg in without dumping into the back. So let's draw the toes back. Now we're gonna push the heel up. We're gonna change our target area here and get more into the calf. When you do this, make sure that you don't sickle the ankle, right? In either direction, really. And just try to find that neutral position. Keep drawing the leg in, keep pressing the thigh away from you. Heel up to the sky. And when we hold poses, just make sure you're not holding your breath.
Okay. So now we're going to press back up with that point, right? So spread your toes again. We're pushing the ball mounts of the foot up. And we're actually going, so make sure your leg is straight here. Okay, even if it's all the way down here. Don't have a bend to your knee. And we're going to just create that sickle that I always tell you not to create. We're going to actually do that so we can get into the outside of the lower leg. So this part here, right? So arch of the foot is turning in. It almost looks like when we're standing in our warrior position, right? The back leg. And just feel the side of your lower leg kind of pushing away from you here. And then come back to that neutral ankle. So get out of that sickle and straighten your left leg. We're going to cross the right leg over to the left. Drop that right hip away. Keep pressing through the ball mounds of that foot. And make sure this right waist is long here. So gentle pressing of that hip down on the right side. Breathe into the twist. Maybe spin that gaze to the right. Get the left shoulder blade out from underneath you. And let's bring it back to center. Place your left foot down, right foot down. Switch legs, left leg. So strap around the ball mounds of the foot. Toes fan wide. Press that ball mound upwards. Even out your back and get active. So again, elbows down. You are pulling. You're actually pulling on that strap, but your leg is resisting that. So squeeze that thigh away from you. Press down. As you pull, inner thigh is hugging away from you as well. Keep breathing. See if you can find space on the exhale. So think about it as you're exhaling. Maybe even visualize it. Just see a little bit more space being created in the back of that leg. Check the back. Sure, there's a little curve in your low back natural curve, whatever that looks like for you. I don't know about y'all, but I needed this. I needed a deep, active stretch day. So let's press the heel up to the sky. Check your ankle there. Make sure it's in a neutral position. So it's not curling up. And check that your back is not flattened. Is your thigh active here? Again, take a little soft bend if the back of the knee feels too much of a pull. So let's go back to that point. Press the ball mounds of the foot, spread the toes, and curl the arch of the foot to the right. So now we're getting into this space. Now you can see it, it's on this side. So just getting into the outside of the lower leg. Just a little pressing to the left. One more breath here. Bring it back to center, straighten out your right leg, get that point back on that foot and cross it over to the right. Just across your body and drop the left hip down. Scoop your right shoulder blade out, gaze turns to the left. Take a deep breath along your spine all the way up the back body. And then soften. Let that left shoulder get heavy if it's not on the mat. And let's bring it back to center. Place your right foot on the mat. Left foot on the mat. Strap is down. Let's step out of the way. And let's take the right knee on top of the left knee. So start to draw your legs in towards you. Hug the knees in, and if you have a bind, you're going to wrap your foot under your calf muscle. If not, you're squeezing those legs in towards each other. Hug the inner thighs and knees are off the mat. Right elbow under the left elbow. Crisscross 
and clap your palms together or hug yourself. Elbows straight up to the sky without tilting up towards your chin. So they're going that way, not that way. <laughs> Press up. So feel your shoulder blades spreading out. We don't want to have the neck and the shoulder squish up. Spread the shoulder blades out. Breathe. Belly strong. Squeeze those inner thighs together. Maybe even your back out a little bit more. And release. Let's switch the crisscross left on top of right. Bind if you can. Squeeze those inner thighs in. Left elbow under the right elbow. Crisscross and clap. Press the elbows up to the sky. Feel the shoulder blades spreading. Or hug. Breathe into the pose, find space on that exhale. Maybe those elbows could lift a little higher, get a little bit more space across that upper back. One more breath here, check your core. We're about to move into our plank pose. Just because we're stretching doesn't mean we're not gonna do it. And release, release the legs. Let's bring the knees into the chest, rock vertically along the mat. And come up into tabletop position. So come onto your hands and knees. Spread those fingers wide, shoulders over the wrists, knees under the hips, inhale, cow pose, drop your belly, lift your heart. Let's roll through the spine and round, tuck the tailbone, curl yourself up, let the head get heavy here in your cat pose. Push the center of your spine up to the, up to the sky, inhale, cow pose, heart lifts, exhale, cat pose. Just one more of each. And come back to neutral spine. We're taking our plank. Step it back. So either you're walking your knees back and coming into plank on the knees, or you're pushing your thighs off the mat. Yeah, pushing the knees off the mat and coming into the full pose. So gaze is just ahead of you. Let's get all 10 toes underneath us, all 10 fingers spread wide. And breathe, get active. Press down into the mat, draw those palms back, open your heart. Draw the navel up to the sky. Use those legs that we were just working, right? Just pressing into the backs of the legs, it's the same action. Lift up the kneecaps, with the thighs. Feel the hamstrings as you do that. Get active in your butt muscles, get into those glutes. Have a steady gaze ahead of you. And just breathe. Draw your elbows back a little bit. Maybe lift your heart a little bit more. Maybe lift that belly up to the spine a little bit more, but just don't lift your hips too high. And of course, don't have them collapsing. So breathing evenly. Finding joy in your plank pose. Because <laughs> it's such a joyful place to be. Think of all the strength that you're building throughout your body. It's a full body pose, just two minutes of your life. I imagine that if you've been doing this regularly with us, that you've built a lot more strength. I hope so. Good. Where are we? Let's see. We've got a little bit, a few more deep breaths here. As always, if you need to, come to your knees, take breaks, right? Come to your knees, push into down dog, take child's pose. One more very deep breath here. And downward facing dog. Nice work. Press it back, get those hips to the back of the mat. Let the head get heavy here. Just hang out in your dog, push. Get nice and long in your spine. Squeeze those front ribs in a little bit. Draw the elbows back a little bit as you push down into your thumb and index finger. One more deep breath here, really finding as much length as you can in your downward facing. And we come to the knees. So this is where your block might come in handy or a bunch of stacked up blankets. We're gonna come into Virasana, which is when we sit between our feet. So split your calf and drop down. Thumbs on the mat. 
if that's not happening, which it may not for many of you, you can stack up a little support underneath you. So place a bunch of blankets. You can be as high as you need to be. And if you have any stuff and this is just not happening, just sit crisscross. So, I reach the arms out in front. I'm gonna spread the fingers wide. And we're just going to move through the wrists a little bit. So flip the palms down, press through the top of the arms here, and then press through the heel of the palm forward, spread those fingers and down. And I've got a crunchy wrist on the right side. I did something funky to myself the other day, lifting something the wrong way. I do this for a living and I still do, do these things. If you move too quickly without being aware, this is when things happen that are not pleasant sometimes. So press through the top of the wrist. Good. And one more. Let's make a fist here. So roll your thumbs in. Fold your fingers over the thumbs. And we're just going to make little circles. So we're going to make circles to the right. Just big wide circles. And then go the other way. Make sure you're sitting tall here. So get that center connected. Lift yourself nice and tall. And then just fan those fingers out and shake it out. So let's take those eagle arms again, like we did when we're lying down. Right elbow under the left elbow, crisscross and clap. Press the elbows forward here. Really get that pushing of the elbows forward. Draw the chin in. And we're just going to tilt our ear to our left shoulder. So your ear is going to go over your left shoulder. And then we're going to pull the palms to the left here. So the arms are going to kind of tilt over towards the left. And the right side of your neck is going to push away from you. Keep your gaze straight ahead. Just feel that lengthening in the right neck. Maybe that right shoulder can draw back a tiny bit. Small movements here. And bring it back to center. Release. Let's go the other way. Left elbow under the right elbow. Press the elbows forward. Sit tall. Start to tilt both the palms and the ear to the right. Press the left side of your neck away. and bring it back to center release let's take the hands behind the back interlace the fingers press the palms together and lift the chest let's go the other way open up the heart gaze goes up and back pull those palms away from you behind you so if they're down here try to get them away from your lower back try to scoop the palms and squeeze them together a little bend to the elbows and release take a shoulder roll up and back up and back up and back come back up onto your hands and knees move supports out of the way if you have them and downward face and let's stretch it out again press the hips back and let's come into our puppy hose, puppy dog. Toes together, knees wide apart, arms way overhead. Bring the chest down to the mat, forehead on the mat. This is where supports can come in handy under your chest if you need them. Let the belly drop, tailbone up to the sky. Breathe. <laughs> if this is too much on the spine, pull the front ribs in. Otherwise, let the front body drop. Let's take the right arm under. We'll get that shoulder stretch. Right arm under. Shoulder goes under you. Right ear goes on the side here. And you're reaching under that left arm. Take the left hand behind you if you do not need it to support you in the pose. Left hand behind you. Left hip draws into the body. Spread that right shoulder blade out. Draw that left shoulder back. Breathe. Find space in the twist. Spin along the spine. Left ribs turning back. And release that left hand down. Pop yourself back up. Let's go the other way. Left shoulder draws under you. Left ear drops down. Pull the right hip into the body if it's swinging. And right arm behind the back if you don't need it to support you. So take a deep breath into the twist here. And let's take that right hand down, left hand down, come back up around, swing yourself 
to seated. If you're tight here, you're going to sit up on some blankets. We're going to take the right foot to the outside of the left knee, left heel towards the right hip. If this isn't happening, bottom leg stays straight. So pull that right hip out from underneath you. Inhale, flip the arms up to the sky, reach. We're going to hook the arm on the outside of that, that knee there and press. Keep your left hip from turning. So left hip stays grounded. Rise up, spin those right ribs back. Try to be tall in the twist. And bring yourself back to center. Release the left leg, right leg. Shake it out. Left foot to the outside of the right knee. And if you have the space, right heel towards the left buttock. Spin that up. Pull that right hip out from underneath you. Inhale, float the arms up. And we twist to the left. Hook the arm. If that's not happening, just hold your knee. And then press that right hip down as you spin the left ribs back. So the low back is not turning in the twist. It's happening higher. Rise up. Breathe. And bring it back to center, release, shake it up. Grab your block or a rolled up blanket. I'm gonna go under your low back, so let's make our way onto our backs. Feet grounded on the mat, lift your hips up into bridge pose and place the support under the low back here. So we're just gonna take a few breaths here in a supported bridge without the feet going straight. So if you have more space here, you can lift the hips even higher. Just find the space that you have. And of course, if you have more space, you can go for the full height if you have a block. As long as your back is okay with this. Right? Just kind of rest here. Let the hips get heavy on the support. Feet are on the mat. Knees are bent. Maybe get the shoulder blades under you a little bit more. Just make sure your chin is not tilting in here. Gaze is a little bit back. Have a little bit of support in your center. Deep abdomen is contracted. Try not to look left or right when you're in this pose. Gaze slightly back. And the hips just getting heavy over that support. And now, if your hips are super high, you're going to take your support down a little bit. And we're going to straighten out the legs. If you can, if not, the feet are gonna still be on the mat, just further away from you. And just find what space you have here. So, kind of discover, do I need to lift my support? Do I need to take it lower? Is this enough of an opening? Is this too much of an opening? Very important. Find that in your body. Let the legs just get heavy. Feel that opening across the front of the pelvis, a little compression in the spine here, as long as that's okay for you. Now let's make sure we're connected to the center. Walk one foot at a time back, ground through your feet, press up off of your support. Move it out of the way. Bring both knees into the chest. Rock yourself gently back and forth here. And let's take a twist all the way over to the right. Rock that right shoulder blade out, gaze to the left. Heart is nice and open here. Soften that left hip down. Both legs back to center. Legs over to the left. Get that left shoulder blade out. Gaze to the right. Soften that right hip down. And bring it back to center. Let's make our way into Shavasana. You need to put props under those knees, under the back of the head. Maybe a blanket on top of you if it's chilly where you are. Let go of any deep controlled breathing that you may still be engaging. Mm 
Close your eyes if you want close to it. Soften your breath. Feel the entire body getting heavy into your mouth. Complete surrendering, a complete letting go here. Drop your gaze deep into that space behind your eyes. Get aware of your breathing, just feeling the breath flowing. Whether that's at the nostrils or in your body. As you breathe in, note I am breathing in. As you breathe out, I am breathing out. Dive into the experience of breath. And feel as if as you breathe in, the entire body is breathing in. Feel yourself in front of And as you breathe out, the entire body is breathing out. Feel everything completely melting away. And slowly start to reawaken your body. Wiggle your fingers. Reconnect with your body. Wiggle your toes. Keeping the eyes closed. Let's take a deep stretch. Arms up over the head. Reach fingertips to toes. Feel all that space you created in your body today. Let's bring the knees into the chest. Hug yourself warmly. And rock yourself back and forth. Gentle hold to your side into fetus position. And keeping the eyes closed, press yourself up to seated. Sit nice and tall. Take the palms to prayer so all the work that you just did in between your hands. Press your thumbs into your sternum, draw your chin in and bow your head forward. And bow down to your ability to let things go. To surrender. Feel the lightness when you do that. The 
bow down to your heart. Honor the love within yourself and within all beings. And from deep within your heart, let's send a collective prayer of peace to the world. May all beings experience peace. And now express gratitude for three things in your life. Inhale that back soon. Have a blissful remainder of your day. Thank you for practicing with me. Namaste. What the angels have to say to you. Number one, spontaneity. Number two, power. And number three, relaxation. It's an interesting combination there. <laughs> Have fun with it. I'll see you for our weekly in practice tomorrow. Bye.